This is News Trail, your daily dose. Thanks for joining us. Here's News Trail for today, Friday, 24th December 2021. I am Adetola Kayode. The major cause of slow epileptic power supply in Nigeria is the neglect by past administrations in the country. Minister of Power Abuba Kali stated this while presenting 16 memos to the Federal Executive Council meeting, chaired by Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibaju. With the current power generation pegged at 5,000 megawatts, Aliyu described the nation's transmission grid as weak and unable to evacuate and distribute sufficient electricity, which will constitute a major problem in future. He, however, says the federal government has placed order for new power equipment and assures that Nigerians in no time will see the outcome of the ongoing investments. Meanwhile, the National Union of Electricity Employees is demanding a total reversal of the sector's privatization exercise. The Presidential Steering Committee PSC on COVID-19 has restricted indoor religious gatherings to 50% with full compliance to public health measures ahead of the Christmas and New Year celebrations. Chairman PSC Boss Mustafa lamented the decline in compliance to public health social measures, reminding Nigerians that the nation is experiencing the fourth wave of COVID-19. The SGF urged Nigerians to avoid non-essential interstate travels during this period as they increase the risk of infections. Mustafa encouraged people who intend to travel to take a rapid COVID-19 test to confirm status as many infected persons are asymptomatic. Palace aides of the Oni of FIFA say they are still investigating the authenticity of news which broke out on social media that Naomi Shilekwola is allegedly quitting as the queen. They are looking into the possibility of hacking. Queen Naomi Shilekwola early on Thursday took to social media to announce the end of a three-year marital surgeon with the Oni of Ife, or Badeye Yogunwusi, or Jaja II. In her post, which has garnered over 31,000 reactions on Instagram, Naomi says she will no longer longer be referred to as the wife of the Oni, nor the queen of Ileife, but the queen of the people and mother to her son, Prince Tadeni Kao. She, however, says religion was never an issue with them. Instead, his majesty has a picture he would love the world to see and perceive, and another, which is his true self. She says the decision isn't because the king is married to another. This is the third known crumbled marriage to the Oni, and already there are rumors of the queen already being replaced. United Airlines and Delta Airlines have cancelled dozens of Christmas Eve flights as the spreading COVID-19 Omicron variant takes a toll on its flight crews and other workers. Chicago-based United cancelled 120 flights for Friday, while Atlanta-based Delta said it has cancelled about 90. The boats say they are working to contact passengers so they would not be stranded at airports. Delta said it has exhausted all options and resources, including rerouting and substitutions of aircrafts and crews to cover scheduled flying before cancelling around 90 flights for Friday. The CDC released updated quarantine guidance for health workers on Thursday, cutting the isolation time to seven days for workers who test positive to COVID-19 but are asymptomatic. And that's it on your shift for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Adetala Kayede. Merry Christmas, people. The joy and essence of Christmas will not be lost in us all. Have a great one.